Hello everyone. For today's video, I thought that I would do some drawing. And I'm going to draw on this piece of paper I have here in front of me. And I'm going to kind of explain what this is all about while I draw. So, I was out of town a few weeks ago. And while I was out of town, I happened to meet someone who was an artist. I was not expecting to meet them, but it just kind of happened. And I was in their studio and had a very nice conversation with this artist. And his name was Mel Chin. And I got to see his studio and some of the works of art that he is currently undertaking. And one of the projects that he has is called the Fundred.org project. And that is what this piece of paper is all about. And basically, what he explained to me was that the soil in the city of New Orleans is heavily contaminated with lead and other heavy metals from industry and from paint and from many other different things. And this project is all about getting the money together to clean up the soil in New Orleans so that the children there will not be affected by lead poisoning and other heavy metals. And the project consists of trying to get artwork from individuals who draw their own hundred dollar bill and so you can go on to the website fundred.org and there you can order these sheets for yourself or for a bunch of people like a classroom or an organization and you can draw your own hundred dollar bill and the plan is to have, I believe it's like 300 million of these pieces of artwork. And each one, in addition to being a piece of artwork, is actually a petition. And when they reach the number of 300 million, they will take these 300 million petitions to Congress and ask that they be swapped for actual real funding to help clean up the soil in the city of New Orleans. And the thing that impressed me most about meeting this artist was the fact that almost all of his art has to do with some sort of raising awareness about an issue but not in a way that is offensive or in your face but in a way that makes you look at the problem in a different way in a way that helps you learn 
about the problem instead of just preaching at you or yelling at you or trying to shock you or embarrass you. And I was struck with his humility and his genuine concern for the projects that are dear to his heart and wanting to see those projects succeed. And I think that in addition to being a worthwhile effort, creating something like this helps people to make a contribution to the effort, but also to learn something about the problems that people face. In this instance, it would be contamination of soil. So these pieces of paper have instructions on how to fill it out. It says, number one, to fill in here a drawing of someone or something that you want to be the central focus of the $100 bill. Um, it says to name your drawing. And it wants you to put a bird here in this circle. And write the name of your city, state, and country where you were born. Make up your own serial number. And try to put five one hundreds in four different ways. And write it too. And since this is a petition, you sign your name. And you have a witness sign it as well. They use the example of a teacher because this is a project that was sent out to schools as well. So what I'm doing is just sketching with my pencil some ideas that I think would be really neat. And I will go back later with a pen and I will darken in these lines. But for right now, I'm just kind of sketching out. And then they also have the back here and it gives you some instructions here as well. But for right now, I'm going to focus on this. And I'm mostly just doing some doodles. I'm not doing anything that is super elaborate or advanced. And seeing where that leads me. So there's my bird that I put in here kind of as part of the design. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to put in here yet, so I'm going to leave that for a little bit later. And I think I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to write one like that. Now I'm going to fill in these spaces.
let's put some like squiggly lines. Something like that. And I'm gonna leave a space down here for someone to sign. Maybe let's make some interesting shapes. to fix that later and that's why we're doing it in pencil so I love doing projects like this where you just kind of let your imagination go Enjoy the creative process. And I find that it often helps me with other projects I'm working on. Kind of gets me out of focusing on those projects and helps my brain work on them in different ways. I think that's a good start with that. And we'll tighten up these zeros here. Okay. So I think it's interesting the different people you meet. Sometimes unexpectedly. There's so many very interesting people in this world. is often very enriching to talk to them and ask them questions and just see how they approach life and how they process things and 
things that are important to them. And oftentimes, those things will also become important to you. Maybe not to the degree that they think they are important. As far as dedicating their time and their efforts. But it's nice to meet people who are passionate about something and can articulate that passion in a creative way. Instead of anger or hopelessness, they have chosen to let that inspire them and to inspire others as well. See if I can add things that make this look more like money. Lots of little detail. Just a basic sketch. Something I can work with later on. I'm trying to make these sides look very different. This is more organic and free-flowing. This one's more regimented. I put like an egg shape in here. I thought that was appropriate with a bird. I don't know. New beginnings or something like that. And I may make these look more like pedestals or something or columns. Something like that. Probably make these lines not so closely spaced together so that these look like two columns split with a circle in the middle. And it says to put a serial number on these. So I think I'm going to put the serial number up here. Well, yeah. And I'm going to make that serial number ASM. Or, of course, 100. I think that's good. And 
and I'm going to put the state I was born in. Is Ohio. And I'm still going to leave this blank. I still want to think about what I'm going to put in here. And on here, the back, we have instructions on how to fill it out, starting with Independence Hall is a sort of home to America. Draw your home, real or imaginary. It could be an apartment, house, or castle. Money has cool symbols and sayings. Make up your own. It says why to ask Congress for real money to fix lead pollution in New Orleans. says to add trees like the live oak, maple, or palm trees, or something totally different. And then draw your funder and send it to your nearest collection center. And on the website there is an address that you can send these into, and they are collecting them all together. So let's see what we're going to put on this side. Okay, so for my home, since I live on the coast, the eastern coast of the United States, and New Orleans is a coastal city as well, I think I'm going to draw a coastline. Nothing too specific. Just a generic coastline that you may find somewhere. Put some rivers in here. I'm going to fill in the details later. I need to make this a little rougher to be believable on the coastline. They're not this smooth, but all kinds of little islands. Kind of like the intercoastal waterways.
draw smooth shapes instead of rough ones. Okay. Well, I think that's a nice start. Got some rivers coming in here, and then this will be the ocean. I think that is a nice representation of where I live. And I think a general representation of New Orleans as well. What else does it say? It says money has cool symbols and sayings on it. Make up your own. So I guess like the in God we trust. Where should I put that at? I think I'll put part of it over here and part of it over here. Let's draw a baseline here so that at least kind of lined up with each other. I like the word home. And the word land. I think that's a good reminder that our home is the land. And without it, we don't have a home. I think it also fits with the theme. I said add trees if you would like. I think I'll add two trees coming up from here. One here. And one here. We'll kind of bleed off the edge here. And it says to add some more 100s. So it looks like a $100 bill. This kind of makes some stylized 100s here. Looks kind of neat.
Stay away from my space here for this. Something like that with the big one in the hundred drawn underneath it. And then maybe we'll take this motif. Kind of draw it up like this. squiggly lines here. So I think I want this to go this way. We'll have to change that. Okay, well, I think that's a good start. I now have enough to go on with that. And we still have to decide what we want to put in here. And I think since this whole project is about making soil clear, and more livable. I think I want to put let's see something that represents the ground here. And like a house or something, but I don't want to just draw a house. Maybe it's just a doorway. some windows here on either side. Some place that's welcoming. Some place you don't want to live. Maybe put some plants here. On either side. Perhaps with the door open. A tree, I don't know. It's kind of symbolic. It's 
some place you'd want to go. This is our home. The earth. You're not separate from it. Especially when it comes to meaning air and land and space to live and grow. So, let's see. I think that's a good start. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I can rework some areas of this. I think I need to make the composition a little stronger. This doesn't quite work for me. I want to make this clearer. But these are like columns. So I'm going to rework this part here. And I think this will look neat. I want to list some colors behind it. So I will put the link to the Thundred website in the description. And if you would like to make one of these yourself, you can go there and get this template that you can use. And you can order more than one. You can order several and hand them out to your friends or your school or someplace else that you thought would people would be interested in doing something like this. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos to make for you guys. Thanks.